Hey guys, YouTube Warren Gunner here. All right, and here I just wanted to make a little video to talk about like the, some stuff regarding Paramount Plus. So yeah, Paramount Plus it just uh, launched about like a, a about a couple weeks ago now, and yeah, and I just made a subscription to Paramount Plus a couple days ago, and yeah, since then I've kind of really just been like just binge watching like Paramount Plus like. Of course, like Paramount Plus is obviously, of course, uh, an answer to Disney Plus. I mean, it, it's, you can even tell by the name, Paramount Plus. It's like Disney Plus. Yeah, but yeah, I've just like really been like binge watching like stuff on Paramount Plus for the last couple of days. And yeah, Paramount Plus is awesome. And really, like, what I've mainly been watching is just a lot of the Nickelodeon stuff they have on there because, yeah, Paramount Plus, like, they just like have a ton of like the classic Nickelodeon shows on there. They have, like, Rugrats and Hey Arnold, Doug, um, they have Spongebob on there, they have, uh, Avril Monsters, Rocko's Modern Life, Ren and Stimpy, Cat Dog, they have, um, Wild Thornberries on there, a Rocket Power, Chalk Zone, As Told by Ginger, Invader Zim, Jimmy Neutron, yeah, I mean, they just have a whole bunch of, like, classic Nickelodeon shows on there. They... <coughs> yeah. <coughs> and, of course, like, Paramount Plus has also... Well, like said that, like, well, yeah, it's Paramount has said that, like, on Paramount Plus, they'll also, like, be releasing some, like, some new Nickelodeon series. Like, of course, they have, like, that, um, SpongeBob's Under Years, Years, um, uh, series on, uh, Paramount Plus Camp Corral. And, yeah, they also have, like, stuff like, um, they have a new Rugrats uh, series coming to, uh, Paramount Plus. They have, like, a new Dora the Explorer, um, series that'll be in live action, as well as a Fairly Hot Parents series in live action, yeah. But yeah, the main thing that I really want to talk about in this uh, video is the, um, the revival of Ike Cartley. Because yeah, this is something else that will be coming to Paramount Plus, and yeah, this is just like what I mainly want to talk about. Well yeah, this is mainly going to be just about really the Ike Cartley revival series. So, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, of course, like, I currently was, like, on Nickelodeon from, like, 2007, its original run, at least, was from 2007 to 2012, and, yeah, and I did watch iCarly during its original, um, run, and, yeah, and I really did like iCarly, I mean, yeah, it was just, like, coming off of, like, Drake and Josh, and, yeah, and, of course, like, this was, like, Miranda Cosgrove's next project following Drake and Josh, and I really did like it. I mean, at the time, like, during iCarly's run, I think, it, like, at the time of its run, it was probably, like, my favorite show on, on Nickelodeon during that time. Yeah, of course, like, there were Nickelodeon shows that I liked before that I really still do overall like more than iCarly, like, stuff like Rugrats and Spongebob and Drake and Josh, Keen and Kel, all that, yeah. There were, like, still, like, shows that I really do like on Nickelodeon, historically, more than iCarly, but yeah. At the time when iCarly was on Nickelodeon, it probably was, like, my favorite show at the time, or, like, d during that time of Nickelodeon. Yeah, because, yeah, there was, like, it was kind of like when I was, like, really, like, getting out of, like, the Nickelodeon phase, like, at the time, like, uh, there were shows like, uh, Zoe 101, The Naked Brothers Band, and, um, Back to the Barnyard, or, um, El Tigre, Fanboy and Chum Chum, yeah, there were just, like, a lot of, like, bad Nickelodeon shows during that time, so, yeah, so I wasn't really, um, really watching, like, a whole ton of Nickelodeon during the time, but, yeah, I currently was a show that it was really, like, one of the shows that I would, like, always watch regularly during the time. So, yeah. yeah. And I really did like iCarly during the time. Like, of course, like, um, like, during that time, like, I, like, I was, like, 13 years old, like, when iCarly, like, was first released. So, yeah. So, during the time, I did like Miranda Cosgrove. Like, yeah, I will admit, like, Miranda Cosgrove was uh, my uh, teenage crush. I did, like, did, like, have a crush on her when I was a teenager. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, and I'm sure that's pretty much the case for a lot of people that were, were like, for like, my, during that time, were, were like, were in that age range that did watch iCarly, like, yeah, chances are, like, 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 the boys all had crushes on either Carly or Sam, like, Miranda Cosgrove or Jeanette McCurdy, who were Carly and Sam on iCarly, yeah, and the girls really did like, uh, Freddie, Nathan Cress, so yeah, that is pretty much, like, how it went, yeah. 
Yeah, but yeah, I did like I Cry. I mean, it was pretty funny. Like, I did, I did like a lot of the jokes on there, and yeah, it was a pretty funny show overall. Yeah, but yeah. Paramount has said like they're reviving iCarly and it will be there will be a new iCarly series on Paramount Plus. <coughs> yeah. And in this uh uh new series, uh, Miranda Cosgrove, Nathan Chris, and Jerry Trainer, who played um Spencer, Carly's older brother, on uh, the show, they will all be returning for this new series. <laughs> well yeah, unfortunately, Jeanette McCurdy will not be reprising her role of Sam. Yeah, Jeanette McCurdy and she's retired from acting, and, and of course, like, in, like, as of late, like, in, like, the, in recent years, like, there's been, like, some, um, revelations about Dan Schneider, the creator of, like, iCarly and a lot of other, like, Nickelodeon shows, like, uh, The Main Show and Drake and Josh, Zoe 101, and, yeah, and just, you know, those kinds of shows. And there's been, like, some revelations of, like, what he was like and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. And I guess, like, he's he was really, like, getting on Jeanette McCurdy a lot. So, yeah. Jeanette McCurdy just, yeah, she he just, like, decided to just, like, lead acting. So, yeah, she will not be returning in the thing as Sam in this a series. And, yeah. And even, like, Dan Schneider, he won't even actually be um a part of the production for this uh, new series either. So, yeah. So yeah, so yeah, Sam won't be returning, and they say like in this uh, new series, um, uh, it will be like set like ten years after the events of like the original old uh, series, and yeah, and they say that like uh, they will like like they'll like reportedly like introduce like a new best friend character in Sam's place, and and yeah, they say, like, on Wikipedia that this, like, new best friend will be part of the, uh, LGBTQ plus community. It's like a pansexual character. That's what, like, it says on Wikipedia. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. So, yeah, so really just, what will really be happening in this new series? To be quite honest, I don't know. Yeah, because... Now, just recently, like, at the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards, like, there was, like, this, uh, interview with, like, Miranda Cosgrove, Nathan Crest, and, uh, Jerry Turner. Like, they don't really give away much, but they, I've said, like, uh, a revival really hasn't been done in the way that this one is, so, yeah, I guess, like, this will be, like, pretty different from the original iCarly series. Yeah, and, yeah, so, really what will happen in this series, I don't know, like, as I said, like, they say that this will be set like ten years after the events of the original like Carly series. Now, so I take it maybe like a, like maybe like a Carly will now be like a, having her own life and stuff. Uh, but yeah, she'll still like be like friends with Freddie and all that. Yeah, and they say like in this new series that um, uh, this series will also have like uh, Freddie's social media obsessed stepdaughter who sees Carly as washed up and as competition to her, her own growing influent and sir status. So yeah, so yeah, so it looks like Freddie will be like like uh I don't know if like they're like saying that like uh, uh Carly and Freddie will be married in this uh new series or what the case may be. But yeah, how is it gonna work with like Carly? Because now in the show of course like iCarly was like a web show that that they had with, uh, like, Carly and Sam were hosting it with Freddy as the technical producer, like, being the cameraman and stuff. So, I mean, are they actually going to, like, bring back iCarly itself? Like, the, are they actually going to bring back the web show? And possibly have it be, like, with uh, uh, Carly and uh, and uh, the new best friend, whoever that may be, hosting it with Freddy, like, now being the host. Yeah. And what role, role will Spencer play here? Because, yeah, he is set to return and. How's it going to work with him? Like, how big of a role is uh, Spencer going to have in this? Because, of course, like, in the original series, like, Spencer was, like, Carly's older older brother, and he was also her uh, legal guardian. Because, yeah, their dad, like, was, like, overseas, like, in mil doing military work. Because, yeah, in the show, their dad was in military work. But, yeah, there was no mention whatsoever of Carly and Spencer's mom. Like, yeah, they don't even mention her and their mom at all. So, I don't know what happened to their mom. I don't know if, like, they're actually going to touch up on that at all in this new series, since, like, apparently, like, there's been, like, 
a lot of people have been questioning like where their mom is has been this whole time yeah they even kind of like um poked fun at that in like a one of a newer Nickelodeon show um game shakers where like Nathan Chris made an appearance on here and now they the kids from that show were like a, like talking to him and yeah they were asking some questions and he even said he doesn't know what happened to Carly's mom so yeah so they even put fun at that so I don't know if like they are actually going to touch up up on it at all and really like say anything about Carly and Spencer's mom um or anything like that but yeah what kind of role will Spencer have in this show yeah yeah, so, yeah, everything is just, like, really, like, really in the shadows right now as far as this series is concerned. Not a whole lot has been revealed about it yet, yeah. And also, like, something else I'm wondering is, will any other characters from the original series be back? Like, Jeanette McCurdy won't be back, but will any other characters be back? Like, will Gibby be back? Or will, like, will Neville, like, the main antagonist for the series, will he come back at all? No, will Tebow come back? back? Or, yeah, will any of the, like, the... Other various, like, recurring characters from the original series. Will they, like, be in this series either? Either? So, yeah. So, that, this is something that I'm really just wondering also. Like, like who, what all, who else from, like, the original series will, also, will be, like, returning for this new series? Like, what will happen? Like, who will all be back for this new series? Like, I just don't know. Well, what to expect with this yeah but what will the series really be about and the question is will it be a success i mean will this actually like do well enough and it will actually like continue on for like years will it be? yeah because this is of course like something like a fuller house and girl meets world and those kinds of shows where it's like continuations of like older series like this and will this one be like a success like those ones or is it just gonna totally bomb So, yeah, so, I'm really not too sure, like, like, what this series really will be about. Like, they haven't really, like, revealed too much about it yet, but, yeah, I am really uh, curious to check this new series out. So, yeah, so, when, yeah, there, there hasn't been, like, an official release date for this yet, when this uh, will, like, be released onto Paramount+. Plus. But, yeah, this is, like, a series on uh, Paramount+, Plus. I really am looking forward to, and it is one that I'm really curious to see, and just see, like, how this, how... This is going to act as a follow-up and, like, like what it really will be like without, like, Sam in there and just, like, like what the various roles of, like, uh, Carly, Freddie, and Spencer really will be and who all will, will return in here. So, yeah, so, it, so, yeah, I will be, so, yeah, I guess, like, just, it's really going to be in the shadows until, you know, like, uh, Paramount really does come out with anything with it. And, yeah, we'll just have to see, like, what this series will be about, and how it really will turn out. <coughs> so, yeah. So, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. But, yeah. yeah. I am looking forward to this, and I'm really curious to check it out. So, yeah. It will be, you know, like, released onto Paramount Plus sometime this year. So, yeah. So, I'll be waiting for it. But, yeah. When it does finally come out, yeah. I will definitely, like, like, like check it out. And, yeah. We'll just, like, see how, what this really will be. All right. So, yeah. So, what do you guys think about this iCarly revival? Like, did you actually watch iCarly? And yeah, what do you think about the revival? What do you think may happen with it? Yeah, come on to my channel. Tell me what you think may happen with this um new series, and if you're looking forward to it at all, tell me what you guys think about it. Yeah, but yeah, I am looking forward to it, and we'll just have to wait and see like how it turns out and what will what it will be about. Yeah, but all right, so. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, I just wanted to come on here and talk about this. Yeah, I may make some videos for like some other um series for Paramount Plus as well. Like, there is that like new Rugrats uh, series that's coming on here. I did see like the photo for that, how it is like a sort of a CG animated series, which yeah, it is different, and I'm not really sure what to think about it, but yeah, <coughs> I might make a video for that too sometime. All right, but yeah. But, yeah, so, yeah, but, yeah, so I guess that's all I really have to say about how I feel about the new iCarly series coming up, so, yeah, so, yeah, so we'll just have to wait to see how it turns out, yeah, but, yeah, so I guess that's all I can really say about this, so, yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy, uh, this video, and, yeah, so, yeah, stay tuned for some more stuff I got coming up, alright, but anyway, so, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.